come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, the movie review and talk show podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, in our quest for total world domination mm. of both the living worlds and the dead worlds. And happy Halloween, Colin. Yes. Happy Halloween, Holly. Happy and Halloween. happy Halloween, Michaela. Thank you, happy Colin. Halloween. The highest of holidays. Yeah. Spooky Hope you're enjoying it. I know. I'm enjoying it. Yes. This is our Halloween pick this year. It mm-hmm. is. And then it's appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> It's appropriate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is kind of because it's uh, that spooky season. It's all fall like, and uh, uh, we watched a movie that was chosen by Michaela. <laughs> what did we watch for our Halloween pick tonight? Pumpkinhead two, Pumpkinhead Blood two, yes. Bloodwing. Oh, you and gotta did I mean, do an episode on Pumpkinhead a couple years ago. We did. Go back and listen but, and watch that movie. But it didn't have blood wings. No, or no, that it? was oh, did it? Well, what were you expecting? Yeah. Pumpkin Actual wings, yeah. Wings. He looks like he could sprout yeah. wings. Yeah, I know. Now, were you thinking like blood dripping wings or wings that cause blood? I thought that it would be like, <laughs> okay, you know, in Lord of the Rings, when the orcs get birthed out of those sacks yes. and it's all bloody and gross. Yeah. I figured when the wings came out, they would be like birthing out of his back and sure. be bloody, but then after that, they'd just be normal wings. Okay. No, so I'm with that's, you. Yeah. That's, that's an, yeah. a, that's an appropriate vision. <laughs> I had a whole vision for yeah. this. Yeah. Uh, so we're yes. saying there's no truth no, in advertising. No blood wings. No, no blood there wings. There are blood wings. Uh, but part of the not plot. Pumpkin yeah. Not pumpkin. Not nearly wings. what you think they are. No. Michaela, who, what year is this movie? 1994. 94. This yes. felt earlier than 94. Yeah, the original was yeah. 88, so yes, this is yeah. kind of a latecomer. This is with direct, direct to DVD, if you can believe it. I yeah. mean, it felt 90s, but I was thinking like maybe 90. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was very, yeah, it was borderline yeah. at best. Who directed this? Jeff Burr. Do we you rest? Maybe you rest. recently passed. Recently, I know. Yeah. Just, yeah. Now, um, did you... Is that one of the reasons you picked this? Or you already... found out he died because I picked this. Okay. <laughs> I picked it, and Colin was like, that guy died <laughs> off mic last week at the freak show. Wow. Yeah, he died the so, same day as, uh, who else? Suzanne Summers? Did... Yeah, right? No. No. They have before that? always dying three Several, yeah. before that. Yeah. Jeff Burr, how do we know Jeff Burr? Because he's a, f- a friend of horror yes. movies. He's a friend of the freak show, I would say, too. Previous episode from A Whisper to a Scream. Right. Which I believe was last mm-hmm. Halloween's pick. I think that was his first first movie yes yeah and then um he became the sequel master which is why our sequel master should be here because this guy did yeah. like three of the puppet master sequels wow. Leatherface, texas chainsaw massacre three uh the stepfather two <laughs> this guy does the <laughs> horror sequels yeah that yeah. was i mean i remember him uh you know like those were the like the first like mm-hmm. from whisper to a screen aka the offspring mm-hmm. uh stepfather two then like Leatherface, you yeah. Know, you got to do, and then I think this was after Leatherface, mm-hmm. but direct to video. Then mm-hmm. like it seems like his entire career is direct was direct to video. video after that. Yeah, but it was Pumpkin or uh, Puppet Master four and five, mm-hmm. and then I think he did a later one. Yes, mm-hmm. after that. Mm-hmm. And uh, when I was looking him up, I'm like, also did a lot of episodes of the TV show Beetleborgs. Yes. Anybody Beetleborgs? Yes. Okay. Mm, nope. Very right. <laughs> It's a great I, title though, Beetleborg. Maybe it's giving us too much credit, but I like to believe that when he passed. He was like, one last hurrah. I want the freak show to do pumpkin head too. So he like yes. whispered it yeah, into your mind. He, he, like, he, he, he accepted that it. idea in my yeah. brain. Uh, I fell asleep on a plane when I was on vacation with Jeff Burr and he put this did idea you, in my did mind. Did you fly over a vortex in Sedona? I mean, yeah, I did. So it's entirely possible. Nailed it. Maybe I flew over the pumpkin head grave site and just woke up with the idea in my head. You I know? love yeah. it. Yeah, He's well, like, think, one last time. Yes. We all liked pumpkin head. I think yeah, pumpkin head is some kind of a minor classic in the yeah, horror genre. Yeah, like, it's got yeah. a very iconic uh, monster. Mm-hmm. That one was directed by Stan Winston. Correct. And I want to say that his studio designed the creature. Yes. And so here we are, years later, mm-hmm. Pumpkinhead 2. He looks a little different in this movie. Rubberier. Yeah. And just a little, che- I mean, everything about this movie is a little cheaper. I, mean, but- I was going to say, it's appropriate for a sequel of this caliber. That yeah. It's just a bit less. <laughs> yes. His hands, is, any hands and feet close ups, it's like, oh, that's a rubber glove. Ouch. It's you very, know? Yeah. Like, it's very like a dinosaur print. Yes. Like- <laughs> yes. He even stomps around like a dinosaur. He, he does. Ro- he roars into the camera like a T Rex. Yeah. He's the become very dinosaur like yeah. in this movie. It's kind of like. Yeah. So I recently watched Wishmaster 2 for the first time. Okay. And in that one, they take the gin from being like 
a jinn to uh-huh. he's like the devil and like they okay. use like Catholicism against him and stuff. Oh. And he's very much like they miss the yeah, point. It, exactly. Yeah. And I feel like this movie is like he's not really a demon anymore. He's like a prehistoric creature right mm-hmm. well and we'll get it into the backstory but right. it's like i was like we need yeah. to i have so many questions i do too about but this yeah it's weird how sequels try to like retcon stuff that doesn't need to be retconned like yeah. this you well, know this one like threw out the first movie completely and yeah. the mythology of it yeah. really yeah um, it starts but, with a hate crime and i was like am i remembering the first one incorrectly or what, did it have nothing to do nope, with it had nothing crime. to do with, the worst thing that happened in that one was uh lance henderson's lance henderson's kid getting hit by the motorbike that's, that's yeah. the worst thing that yeah. happened there well yeah. if you remember i think the original movie was uh, i can't remember if the original title was uh, Vengeance the Demon, and then they yes. changed it because I had a poster mm-hmm. at one point that was Vengeance the Demon, and Worst then it became uh, Pumpkinhead. Yeah, I mean it's Pumpkinhead in the movie, yeah. but I don't know yeah. if they just didn't you know have faith in that in that title that people would think it's a kids thing or something. Right. But really quick before we go on, like the the design of the monster, I think if I'm remembering correctly. The original pumpkin head was not really a guy in a suit. It was because uh, uh, mostly Stan mechanical Winston had done yeah. aliens yes. and designed the alien queen. Mm-hmm. So it was like a big puppet. Yes. Kind of on like tracks and stuff, too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is why I think it was it looked a lot spindlier. Yes. And, and it was I feel like he was taller in yeah. the first movie yeah. and like was bending down a lot more. Yeah. It was up on like those yeah. stilt kind of, yes. you know, like uh, legs where mm-hmm. this yeah, one. That's part of the reason it was so it made it even more menacing. Yeah. Because it was like this big like overpowering thing yeah Mm -hmm. and this one it's a guy in a suit yeah and it moves like a guy in a suit it feels very wwe at points in this movie they literally do a back break yeah they literally (laughs) so that was the when i was looking up this movie to see if i could pick it that was the clip i saw and i was like oh okay like done it's ridiculous (laughs) yeah so i gotta gotta watch it now yeah but well, I guess that's it. You're going to get like, you know, you come to see Pumpkinhead, you're going to get a lot more Pumpkinhead on screen than you did in the yes. original movie. Um, so Vengeance the Demon, right? I mean, the the idea of Pumpkinhead from the original movie was it's kind of like Americana folk horror mm-hmm. uh, taking place somewhere like Appalachia. And yeah. there's, Hill folk. A, <laughs> there's a, a, a demon yeah. that you can curse people and then the demon will actually come out of a graveyard or a pumpkin patch, I think, mm-hmm. in the first one. Yeah. yeah. And it kills a bunch of people. But the catch is that the uh, purveyor of all this pain actually feels it themselves. They experience it. It's not like you just get to have something go off and do it. You're going right. to feel and experience the... Which... And at I the f- end of it, you will become... Which you become the new, pu- new forgot head, yeah. until just now, and now this movie makes more sense. Well, <laughs> <laughs> remember at the end of original Pumpkinhead, the pumpkin head starts to look like Lance Henriksen? Um, I didn't we, until yeah, just now. Yeah, yeah. we... Yeah, but I forgot why, a lot of that movie. That's yeah. why it looks like the pumpkin head monster is because it's kind of designed after the face of Lance Henderson. Yeah, it takes mm-hmm. on more of his features mm-hmm. as the, uh-huh. the mm-hmm. film goes on. But uh, mm-hmm. all right, but now it's 1994, and so mm-hmm. we're starting this one off in 1958. Eight. 1950. Yeah. I think yeah. that's the same. Is it the same year? The flashback in the first one? It might be. I just I. It might be, but I I, I cannot get over like. The, how much this movie is this movie's about my dad he was born in 1958 <laughs> he has the car from this movie and he played on a ball team called the red wings like this oh, is wow. this is his horror you need movie. to watch it <laughs> yeah, yeah. like it's blowing my mind i need to know what frank <laughs> thinks about this movie yeah, 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 yeah. you're gonna have to watch it with blowing him for my yeah so what happens in 1958 in the world of Pumpkinhead? Hate to- crimes. Uh, the only thing I assume ever happened in the in the yeah. 50s yeah. was rich white kids roughing up whoever they came across that night. Because every movie I've watched about the 50s, this happens. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, it, the socials are out on the prowl, guys. Yeah. It, don't get in their way. Yeah, like the 50s just seem awful. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> according Especially to, the, like, to horror movies. Yeah. Well, back then you could commit a crime and just walk away and get away with it. Like it was, I mean, like and, you could get well, away with it. It was like back and then. His, and you know the history they don't want to tell us is you could yeah exactly it's like, yeah. <laughs> you could yeah well there's still unsolved mysteries from uh, the, yeah the 50s, but even like a man- lo- local one with a yeah. woman who like when they exhumed her, her head is there that mary jane reed mm-hmm. you look that one up it's a weird one it's a crazy yeah. one still unsolved i think but anyway uh so yeah we see the the 50s greaser kids in no, uh, the socias the there's socias, the socias they're yeah. the socias yeah. Yeah. these are the red wings they yes. have their letterman jackets mm-hmm. and they're prowling around and they're going yeah. looking for the town outcast who, who is the elephant man. Yeah. Tommy. Yes. Yep. He's who literally is a feral child that lives in the woods. 
Yes. And because of that, they hate him because that's what yep. they do. These kids are yeah, like, we got to go find that in 1958, kid. there's only cars and hate. Yes, yeah. and that's it. There's <laughs> two things. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> We're saying this movie was written by adults, right? But maybe not. Uh, so <laughs> a very narrow view on a lot of things, yes. it turns out. But we'll get into that as we go forward. But uh, so they find this kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, He's who, like known throughout. Yeah. and. It it sounds like that they've had run-ins with him before. They try to right. like destroy him because yeah. he's like once and for all. Like, yeah. Apparently, uh, does he outrun them? Does he I win? Sometimes? He just takes off into the woods okay. and they give up eventually, or something. But this yeah. is this is it. He's yeah. ready to kill this child. Apparently, yeah, I for mean, existing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, yeah. for being, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what they're going for. We have to have the inciting incident. In the movie, and so it's going to be this like uh, they're going to pummel him with the, the group of was seven, mm, six, six, six. Yeah. Uh, okay, so six of the socias, mm-hmm. right? Like the red take him out into mm-hmm. the in the red one. There you go. Yeah, we have to. Uh, they're socias, yeah. but we have yeah. to. There's a reason we talk about the red ones. Yes. Yep. Yeah. And they take him out in the woods to a mine shaft, right? Yeah. And they hang him up, beat him. Which with it doesn't a, look like a mine shaft. No, yeah. I was like. It w- this looks what, like a well. I, I was like, is it a well? Are they building a structure here? Yeah. Like, I didn't know if this was like a construction site or what the fuck it we were looking like at. It looks like a well. Yeah. It looks like it would have been incorporated in the um, estate from House of a Thousand Corpses. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah, not like a mine shaft into a mountain. This is a no. hole in the earth yes. in the middle yeah. of the woods. With like loose boards over it. Yeah. It really does look like a well. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, they stab him. They were the one, they the hang lead, him. the lead, yeah. yeah, and the lead guy stabs him to death. Mm-hmm. And then they drop his body down yeah. the well. Mm-hmm. There's also something else going on in this flashback. There's a slow motion. <laughs> well, we see there's there's this old hag woman who looks right. like the witch from the first movie. I think that's yeah, what they're going yeah, for, yeah. right? Yeah. So we're like, is this the witch from the first movie? Right. It's set in the same time period, but right. apparently, I don't know. Is she? I don't. I don't think know. So. I don't think so. so. Yeah, like. We, we see glimpses of her first and then it says 1958 and I was like wow this is like 400 years later than I thought it was yeah, going to be yeah, yeah. Yeah. she's yeah. cooking it's over crazy. a pot and it's black and white yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and she comes out and has a bowl of stew that she leaves for Tommy Tommy mm-hmm. and I thought she was calling a dog or maybe pumpkin head yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and then Tommy shows I up I very seriously thought it was Bruce Campbell in a wig for a hot minute yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it turns out no it's actually uh, Lillian Chauvin who are she turns we, out is a Saturday night <gasps> freak show wall of famer because oh of this movie. Oh my gosh. Wow. Because what? you would remember her as Mother Superior in Silent Night, Deadly Night, which is probably the one that she's always right. going to be remembered for because that's great. Yeah. But she was also, um, she was a forensic tech in Predator 2. Oh, who wow. I think uh, oh. helped uh, <laughs> <laughs> determine the weapon that was being used. I was going to say that. I feel like that would be hallway, hallway, but I don't know. Silent Night, Deadly Night. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, (laughs) in this movie, she's under a lot of uh, prosthetic Mm -hmm. makeup for the entire movie to make her look like, you know, a witch. Yeah. I guess. A shrivelly burned yeah. witch <laughs> yeah and she's out there going no because of what we're getting out of this opening scene as the Run, tough tommy. kids are beating tommy she seems to be feeling all and of the yes. inflicted right. damage so right off the bat we're like okay what kind of movie's going on right <laughs> yeah and we're like okay why does she have a psychic connection to this and whoa, mm-hmm. what's going on and I was very confused yeah. throughout As the entire we movie. Will. Well, I mean, we know yeah. we've seen the original Pumpkinhead, and we know that if uh, Pumpkinhead, you know, commits, uh, you know, some kind of violence that the person who sent right. him out But feels again, it. I had totally forgotten that little tidbit okay. until you just brought it up. Right. right. So, so that was maybe connective tissue, but it didn't mm-hmm. make any damn sense. Didn't make because, any sense, okay. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah. then we're going to solve all these mysteries. The movie's going to tell us what's going on. And so flash Hopefully. forward to 1994. Mm. Yes. And what's going on New here? kid in town. <laughs> uh, some ruffians hanging out, out in the parking lot of their school, but they're going to ditch school. We yeah. have Soleil Moon Fry, Punky Brewster herself. Yeah. Punky Brewster gets yeah. to swear a whole lot yes. in this movie. Like, oh boy. Which I'm, I'm to be fair, I've never like seen Punky Brewster. Like I don't I don't know. Eh. It's like an eighties. Yeah, yeah I used to watch it. Yeah. When I was a kid I'm fine. aware of what it yeah, is, but yeah. I've never actually watched yeah. it. Um and it uh, I've I've seen her in other things, but yeah. it occurred to me, I was like, has she always been a terrible actress? Yes. I think so, okay. probably. I think okay. when you I think when you start as a kid actor, yeah. 
there's a high chance you won't be a good adult actor. <laughs> I mean, there's, you know, there's quite a few people that prove that wrong, right? But it's, but I think they're the exception. You there's, know? Yeah. yeah. I know. Look at Leonardo DiCaprio. I know. That's what I'm saying. There's I know quite, there are some. There's quite like, a few people that disprove that theory, but there are <laughs> set for all that yeah. I'm like, okay, you never. But for up. every Leonardo DiCaprio, there's probably 20 Soleil Moon Fries. That's you know what I'm saying? very <laughs> true. Very true. I mean, she's bad in this, but I mean, yeah, everybody's bad. bad. Well, a lot of people are bad, but it's yeah. like the no, script in this movie it's, is challenging for an actor. Yeah. <laughs> it's not great. In order to, and probably for the director as well. Um, but we'll get into that. So yeah. Uh, so Amy Dolan's. Uh, Amy Dolan's is in this. That's right. She's the daughter of. Um, uh, Braddock, the. Oh no, Andrew Robinson. Robinson. Mickey Dolan's. In oh, life, in real life, the monkey. Yeah, oh, Mickey gotcha. Dolan's. Okay. Yeah, monkeys. Mickey yeah. Dolan's. Mm-hmm. So she had done. Um, like I remember hearing about her because she was. It was. Uh, she's out of control. Um, was a movie that she was in, and then after that, like that was like a major movie with Tony Danza. I think was nice. like her dad. And then uh, <laughs> after that, she was direct the video. Tony Danza did a major movie? Yeah. 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 She's out of control. You got to look it up. It's got Amy Dolan's in it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> she was in uh, Ticks, I think. Right? Oh. And uh, wasn't well, she that'll in? that'll come to the freak show eventually, I'm That's sure. been on my list for yeah. a while. Yeah. She was in uh, Blood Wings. And I want to say she was in one other, at least one other horror movie from back then, all right, it's totally skipped my mind. Michaela's. Uh, 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 oh, no, I was looking up Tony I mean, Danza. Oh. Uh, <laughs> because I was trying to think of the name of it. He was in Don John. Oh. Remember that, um, yeah. that Joseph Gordon Levin movie? I forgot about that. Yep. Yeah, yeah. But he hasn't had like a huge movie career. He's been a big TV yeah. guy. But yeah. no, she's she's got she's got that horror movie faith. Yeah, she does. She yeah. really does. Uh, the other one was uh, uh, oh my god, J J Edward. Some oh, no, it was uh, the guy Witchboard Two. That's right. Because uh, I watched that after I saw Witchboard, I was like, you got to check that out. And it was Amy Dolan's was the lead in that one. So she had her moment in horror, horror cinema, horror sequel queen. Yep, <laughs> and uh, yeah, she's the daughter of the sheriff in this movie. So he's yeah. like doing the. Like Captain Brody thing. Kind yes. Of, right? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. He's coming from where? They, so they used to, they, he grew up he here grew up and there. then they moved away. Yep. To so, New York, I think mm-hmm. she says. Mm-hmm. And now they're moving back. And yeah. yeah. Andrew Robinson is from Hellraiser is Sean Braddock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, cause he's like basically the lead guy in this movie. Right. Yeah. And I mean, like that guy had, I mean, he's always, he's either going to be, you're either going to remember him from Hellraiser or from Dirty Harry. Right? Yeah. He was the, mm-hmm. the, the mm-hmm. Scorpio. Yes. Uh, killer in yeah. that. He was also in Cobra. You remember him? In I Mary. forgot he was in Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It all comes back to Cobra. Yes. Yep. Um, so he's our That's lead. cinema started. When our Cobra lead guy. <laughs> I thought that the dialogue that introduced him was like uh, the most rudimentary, perfunctory, and goofiest shit that I'd ever heard. When he's talking to his wife? Yeah, yeah. he's like, well, thank God I'm getting away from the 12th precinct in uh, New York where there's bodies in every dumpster and, you know, like whatever. Uh, and I'm coming here. It's a small town. This is a fresh start. Yep. People only speak in exposition dumps in this movie. Only. Yeah. Like, and Pretty in the much, most, yeah. like, basic, like, well, I hope she doesn't get up to the trouble she got back in in New York. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, what what trouble was that? <laughs> well, you know her, and it's like, that's exactly how it Hanging goes. Hanging out with yep. those tough kids in uh, New yep. York. Mm-hmm. She better not do that here. And, of course, what's she going to do with the first scene? She's hanging out with the tough kids yeah. here. Cutting class. Cutting class with the tough kids. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to say this is the only real character arc in the movie that uh, there's a there's a wedge between father and daughter at the beginning of the movie. 100%. Right? Where yeah. they don't, uh, they don't communicate. That, yes. And yeah. by the end of the movie, uh, yeah. that's all going to be resolved. Talk, that is our character talk arc. Talk to your daughter. We don't <laughs> talk. We debate. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Because she's running around with hooligans. He just can't reach her. And so she's running around with hooligans here. And what do these hooligans get up to? What do they want to do? Anything dangerous. Mm-hmm. They like to drive with their lights turned off down the highway really yeah, fast. Yeah, as all kids do. I'm sorry. I did some dumb shit as a kid, but I never just did purposely like dangerous stuff just for the hell of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I need a little bit more of a thrill than our lights are turned off. Yeah. We're driving on the, like, that's just, that I don't see the fun thing? in it. I don't no. see the fun in this. Their whole thing. Well, I mean, it's thrill seeking, I suppose, but like danger. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're always like telling each other, like, we want to do something more dangerous and challenging each other to, to doing dangerous stuff. But of course, while they're out one night, they run smack into the old woman of the woods. Yeah. Yes. Hit her with her car. Which we, you know what? 
the whole driving with your lights off thing, we did do that in high school, but it was only when we were driving on Blood's Point. And oh, was, yeah, because like, you had to, like, turn. There was, the like, legend, that point yeah. where you, like, turn your lights yeah. off. You have to. Yeah, right. but when you turn the lights back on. Did you did you hit an old witch lady on Blood's Point? You know Point? what? We did, and that's why my life has sucked ever since. <laughs> 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 the pumpkin head's coming for you. He already did. Yeah. I'm fucked. Well, I know what you're thinking, listener. Yes, they hit this old woman, and now she's going to sick pumpkin head on him. Yeah. yeah. No, that's no. not what happens at all. No. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's not. No, it doesn't. No. No. no, because this movie has too many wrinkles it doesn't need that don't really work towards anything. Well, because yes. at yeah. first I was like, oh, so we're doing I Know What You Did Last Summer. Right. Yeah. That's what it felt like right. at the start of this movie. No, that'd be too it's, straightforward for this yeah. movie, it'd I make guess. More sense. Yeah. There was yeah. a lot of connective tissue even right here where um, or who she is in her relation to the because we see mm-hmm. her feeding the feral mm-hmm. kid at the beginning right mm-hmm. so you're like well that's his mom mm-hmm. nope. nope she's just his guardian yeah. because he was yeah. feral in the he woods was, and like spirit guardian yeah. it's just like what the, just connect the dots and right. you make a yeah. more efficient and straightforward narrative but mm-hmm. no. no so they Not hit her movie. they hit her with a mm-hmm. car right but she yeah. miraculously she's gets fine. up she like runs away yeah and they're like well we got to go find her and make sure she's okay well i know where she lives how? <laughs> yeah, Soleil everyone Moon, knows where the witch everyone lives. Everyone knows where Come the on. witch lives in this town. Yeah. Well, I noticed like Soleil Moon Fry doesn't have like a lot of character growth after these in- introductory scenes, no. but she's the one who's like interested in the occult or has some kind yeah. of knowledge. Marcy knows. Yeah. She's Apparently like Marcy knows. Because this is the nineties and you had need to have like an alternative goth you chick have and to have a witch friend, friend group. Yeah, you gotta have, have it. So she's filling that void. She knows some weird shit. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Like they go, they find the cabin in the woods. It looks identical to the witch cabin in the first movie, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, in there, they find. Oh no! First to get there. Oh yeah. They have to go through the pet cemetery. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Literally, like a budget version of the pet cemetery. Yeah. It's bad. Which okay? Do I remember correctly that? Lance Henriksen had to drive and then walk a long ways to get to her cabin in the first one, right? Oh, yeah. Like, he was, it was like a journey for him, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah she just, like, lives off the freeway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not yeah. in this movie. Everyone knows where she lives and just walk mm-hmm. right up that hill. She's right there. She's that old woman who lives up there yep. and uh, lives, you know. Yeah, because after they go through the pet cemetery, I mean, they they call it out. They're like, they what liter- is this? Yeah. yeah, they literally say that. And it looks like, you know, you got rocks and mm-hmm. it's kind of in a star formation yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. And there's something buried in the middle of it. Not a pumpkin patch this time. I'm kind of no. I know. Uh, that was way cooler. Yeah. Way cooler. Mm-hmm. Um, and they uh, in her house, they find a bunch of uh, 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 black magic stuff. You know, yeah. as you do. They walk into her house because that's what you do. You just walk into someone's house. I don't Light care. her candles. I don't care how poor they are. You don't yeah. just walk into someone's house. That's so rude. And they just start lighting her candles. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. And... You don't go lighting someone's candles in their house, no. damn it. It's like you don't mow another man's lawn. Yeah. I mean, unless you're being nice. Okay. But like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But this is like, this is breaking and entering and then yeah. lighting candles and yeah. Breaking, entering, arson, you know, yeah. there's lots of, lots of crimes being committed here. And then they find like a page of a book. They it's, know yeah. what it is. It's like a piece of parchment. It's yeah. like, yeah. And so they move I can read this ancient language. Apparently, she's, all, she's instantly like, this is from a book of shadows. Like, yes. what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Well, it could be like a Chili's place map yeah, for all you know. Right. You don't know. It has hieroglyphs on it for the love of God. So, so how no, can she read it? I exactly. Don't I don't even like think he, she cuts school. You can't tell me she knows how to read that. Right. <laughs> Was it even her who read it or was it yeah. uh, the main guy? She uh, she read it at first and told them what it was. And then once they got to the pet cemetery to do like the ritual, he's reading it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, okay. We're, but yeah, how, we, how the camera the, shows it is hieroglyphics. Yeah. yeah. A book of shadows. <gasps> For those of you who listen to our Blair Witch 2 episode, know what a book of shadows is. <laughs> but apparently it's a witch's spell book that they all keep and it's individualized to them. So, uh how, they get they go to a ritual what are you talking how does that happen i thought we were chasing a woman who got hit by a car yeah we she's are fine she pops up back in the house and mm-hmm. is like i'm blind but get the fuck out yeah but before before she comes in when they find the the parchment from the book of shadows there's also like a vial of blood mm-hmm. and they're like 
this is for a spell. This is to to reanimate the dead. Yeah. That's like prescient knowledge that yes. uh, Soleil Moon Fry is able to. Like, I'm it's sorry. <laughs> she should be like studying major like research right. projects. Yeah. Like she's very smart. This so is ridiculous. We've got, we've got cursed blood. Yeah. We've got a book of resurrection. Because yeah. the kids are searching for danger, they're like, the old lady wants to bring somebody back to life. Mm-hmm. Let's help her out with it. That's going to be dangerous. Yeah. And then they flee the house. But right. But I like, like when she comes in and they like wave in front of her face and they're like, she's blind. And she's like, I see more than you know. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Leave that vial. It'll bring you nothing but trouble. You know, like, okay. And then she accidentally like sets her whole house on fire. No, she does. Okay. See, this is what makes me mad because these kids are like, how did the house catch on fire? Because you lit candles in a blind woman's house. Yes. <laughs> Idiots. Exactly. It's not Ugh. fucking rocket science here. You know, it's so yeah. stupid. And like you lit candles in like an old wood shack that yeah. a witch lives in. That thing is a tinderbox waiting to fucking Seriously. go up. Like, yeah. You know? And she's blind. Like, and I was really sad because, like, the candle fell over and like lit her nice lace placemat. Of her. I'm like, that's like the one nice thing she owns. And now it's, her nice lace is catching on fire. God damn. Yeah. And this is happening simultaneous to yes, they go out and dig up the grave. Yes. That's in the- Everyone knows high schoolers spend their time digging. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, the laziest pieces of shit in the world yeah. are not going to be digging a grave. But they and- want to do a, a, a spell. But they dig like, like this is no pet cemetery dig. This, no, is, this like is like a, a full on six feet square this down. This is a full on like cemetery excavation. Yeah. Like it's like a perfect rectangle like it always is in these goddamn movies. I know. Okay. This is such a movie thing that drives me yeah. fucking crazy because like you always see them do the first like three shovels that are like tiny little piles of dirt. And then there's always a time lapse to them being fucking seven feet underground yeah. with the, yeah, perfectly rectangle mm-hmm. edges. Like. I don't know, digging, digging like little tiny holes in my backyard takes longer than I would think. Yeah. This, this shit is movie do it magic. At night, but yeah, I mean, it's always yeah. a perfect hole. It looks yep. like it was dug by a backhoe. Yep. And mm-hmm. whose grave is it? Pumpkinhead Tommy, baby. <laughs> right. We need to get into this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know when we're getting into this, yeah. but it needs to be done because I'm very confused by yes. this. Okay. I will, I can't promise I have answers, but okay. I will try. So. Okay. <sighs> okay. So this is the grave of Tommy. Yes. yes. Correct. The yes. deformed child feral kid. And lore says that when a demon and a like normal woman have mm-hmm. like a demon spawn or whatever, that's what creates pumpkin head or something. Mm-hmm. But actual pumpkin head and a woman had a baby and it was Tommy. <laughs> that was my understanding. That's what happened. I right? think <laughs> I I think you know how like in the Phantom Menace, Shmi Skywalker's like, there was no father, it was just me. So it's like, oh, he was birthed by like Is force, that what we're right? saying? Because I, I kind of want I would need it to be a force thing and not a pumpkin head, no, you know. No, no. because pumpkin I'm head. going the opposite direction. I want to see like pumpkin head like taking her out for spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. like seducing her, her. Yeah. like taking her to Whining the drive in. Yeah. yeah. That's what I want. That's that's what's in my mind. If I remember, that that is what the the movie is saying. Yeah, yeah. she that literally says Pumpkinhead is his father. Yeah, because, she says that. Uh, um, Andrew Robinson at some point where he's getting on the trail is reading all the books of like uh, mm-hmm. uh, when demons have sex with uh, human yeah. women yes. and produce offspring. But I love, I love how she, like the old woman talks about it though because he, she's like. Tommy's mom was nothing special. Wasn't but her his, specifically. Yeah. yeah. But his papa <laughs> was pumpkin head. <laughs> and I'm like, that's in my mind. I'm like, I'm sorry. But I'm picturing like the plainest woman that's yeah. just like, well, I can't get anyone else. <laughs> my <laughs> just village for pumpkin monster. Head. <laughs> The so village was, revenge monster. <laughs> Actually, then yeah, yeah, haven't you we figure, all been with the village revenge monster? Wouldn't Let's it be, be like real. somebody who summoned a demon, and this is the one that showed up? They're like, ooh, we're gonna, you know, summon a demon, a mystery right? demon See, lover. Now, and now, pumpkin like, head this shows is giving, up. This is giving me a whole other movie. Yeah. You yeah. summon a revenge demon. The revenge demon shows up to like enact revenge. And then it's like dream we are. <laughs> it's like oh, the woman no. of the pumpkin head dreams. Yeah, that's the movie I want. I know this is totally glossed over in this movie. This is an opportunity right there. Um, okay, but I still have more questions because we don't get pumpkin head in this movie. We get Tommy Pumpkinhead. Correct. So Tommy becomes Pumpkinhead after death. 
Well, they they do the ritual and bring him back to life with right. the demon blood and all that, yeah. and then all so of a sudden turns he turns into, into pumpkin, head? pumpkin head, bursts out of the, and so, so he's bring, the, oh, because the spell that brings him back turns him into pumpkin head. I think so because like when you bring something back, it comes back evil. I don't know. I mean, they don't say that, but that's just common knowledge, Is right? It yeah. Because he's uh, pumpkin heads. Like baby son, yeah, that, that's what that I mean. He comes back son, like pumpkin, pump- like he comes back as something evil, and that evil happens to be Pumpkinhead because that's what his dad was. So, like, if it was someone else whose dad was like an alcoholic, yeah. come back as an alcoholic. So this way, in this one, then what I we're saying know. is the witch is like keeping all of this stuff, knows how to do the spell, but hasn't done it for like thirty years, right. forty years, because she's like guarding it. Right, she's got the stuff, and I'm like, I'm keeping this so nobody else has it. Right, but why? Right. <laughs> yeah. Why? Right. Because you figured. Like, and why are you leaving was... it out on the counter, lady? Like yeah. you're leaving. I mean, she's you're leaving the self destruct button to your. She's doing the exact th- like same thing the judge did. Don't go to the pet cemetery. Yeah. Let me show you how to work the pet cemetery. Exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, it's the yeah. Same goddamn she's thing. Doing that. Yeah. yeah. Well, because the way that the the mythology works in this. Every time Pumpkinhead strikes, she's in a so she survives the fire and she's in a hospital bed for the duration of the movie yeah. and basically in a coma. But all we cut to her thrashing around and she's experiencing the murders right. like Lance mm-hmm. Henriksen did, mm-hmm. which is saying that she this is her revenge. Right, going by the right. first movie's yeah. rule set, it, but right. this doesn't make it's not any her spell. Sense. She didn't do it. Right, yeah. it's her stuff. Is that why? I it's don't her even stuff? know. She was connected to Tommy in the flashback at the beginning, right? Yeah, yeah. And so I guess she's psychically connected to him once he's oh, that's resurrected. true. She was, yeah. This movie's just so because she does, doesn't make any because sense. she's designated as his guardian. She yeah. took that upon herself, apparently. Yeah. Well, did she? We don't See, know. Wouldn't it be, just make her the bomb? She, yeah, they make exactly. it. They <laughs> make it so sound complicated. They make it sound like she's been like given this job, like she's been made the guardian. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah instead of the know. witch who brings the thing back to life and you know as a curse, she's the one who's trying to prevent it from happening. I guess. Apparently, I have a question, but for this movie, mm-hmm. why were all the kids not all the kids of the Soshas that killed him? <laughs> Okay, well, so that would is, simplify this a yes, whole lot too. 100%. Because I was just going to tell the listeners, yeah. it's like you would expect then that Pumpkinhead is going to spend the rest of the movie going after the kids who resurrected him. No. But no, <laughs> goes after people who at first we have no context for and don't know who they are. I find that I'm like, yeah. why are we watching him kill randos all of a sudden? I mean, you know? yeah, we yeah. do find out why. Yeah, but and after then, he kills like three of them, yeah, and then he does go after the kids. Yeah. But, which I don't. I honestly don't have a big complaint about because that means he kills like twelve people, yeah. and I'm okay with right. that. The body count is high. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm okay it with. It doesn't that. make yeah. sense because no, if he's going after. So yeah, I mean, basically that's it, right? He's resurrected, yeah. and so his uh, demon so, mission is to go after the Red Wings mm-hmm. who killed yeah. him in the first place, Something. and so. But we don't know who they are, so there's just yeah. these random scenes. But then once that's completed. Then he goes after the kids who brought him back, like, and you're right. like, "What the, the fuck yeah. is happening?" I here? like to think that you know he's a revenge demon, but he's got priorities. Mm-hmm. So he's like, people first. "You put your mask on, and then the child's right." Yeah. So okay. it's like my revenge, then yours. Yeah. Right. I mean, I know that's mom. What it is. Your revenge gonna take a backseat to mine <laughs> real quick. I've got a score to settle after yeah, thirty like, years. I will get to your shit, but I yeah. gotta do mine yeah. first. Yeah. So. We're going to go into the C plot. We haven't even touched on the A plot, which is uh, 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 Andrew Robinson's plot. But then we got yeah. the B plots, the the teenagers, mm-hmm. the Amy Dolan's uh, plot. And then um, we have the, the C plot is Pumpkinhead's Revenge. So mm-hmm. he goes after, I think, like the first. So the first person is the postman. Mm-hmm. Right? right. No, no, no. Sorry. No, there's no, no. a guy before that. Right. And he breaks the, his back. It's no, the, that was him. It's, I thought no. the postman was the one fucking the lady that he threw out. The, that wasn't oh, the first he did, one? No, he that was the first one. No, the first one was guy. Joe Unger. Joe Unger yes. is Skippy or whatever. Oh, uh, Slick. Slick. Yeah. The right? farmer. That's yes, right. That's he right. kills the farmer first. Mm-hmm. And Joe Unger is, plays, I swear to God, the exact same character in Texas Chainsaw yeah. Massacre 3. Mm-hmm. If you've seen that, you know Joe Unger. He was one mm-hmm. of the Chainsaw family. Uh, so he's like, he's supposed to be like your your down home uh he's from he's you know from the town mm-hmm. right yeah or from the woods and he's like he goes to get his hunting license mm-hmm. from the sheriff and then like once the witch has been disturbed he's like sheriff i want my 
my my here I want the, my money back for my license. I'm not going yeah. hunting this year because yeah. I'm going to be hunted. Mm-hmm. There's pumpkin head out there. I mean, there's always one. There's always one crazy person that you know he's right and he gets killed. There's yeah. always the one, right? But I I started to get a little sweaty at this part because I was like, oh, is this going to take like a Halloween kills like mob justice kind of direction? You know, I mean, uh, but yeah. like, no, this guy does what everyone in Halloween kills should have done. Been like. Oh shit! There's uh, danger out there. I'm gonna sit my ass at home and yeah. do uh, yeah. Like he's he's the smartest he character. Is, in this yeah, movie. he's like I'm not going out there. Are you fucking kidding me? Mm-hmm. He was, and he even says like Pumpkinhead's gonna kill anything that's in his way, whether you're part of the revenge plan or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. but he know he knows it's up. I mean mm-hmm. that's the thing. Yeah. I guess all these characters seem to have a lot of knowledge right. of what's happening. So he goes back to his barn. And Pumpkinhead shows up with mm-hmm. really no fanfare. Just all of a sudden, Pumpkinhead shows up and kills well, we get, him. We get a lot of pumpkin vision first. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. Yeah, pumpkin vision. In yeah. This pumpkin movie. vision, which if you've seen Predator, it's like that, but pumpkin. But orange. Yeah. 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 Double exposures. Yeah. And yeah. you're like, man, this fucking monster is blind as a fucking <laughs> right. bat. Yeah. You can't tell what the hell he's looking at. Well, I mean, have you seen his eyes? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and Joe Unger, what happens to him? So he um, he goes into the barn where his pigs are hanging. And um, oh yeah, the motel he- hell, pumpkin head. Yeah, yes. It's, it's, so it's pumpkin the building. Head, yeah. No, that's that's the judge's house. But th- oh, okay. I was yeah. thinking about where oh, where the meat and locker yeah, is. It's okay, the barn. Okay. and he throws pumpkin head throws him onto a hook, just like his pigs are hanging, mm-hmm. and he like rips his limbs off. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, but you don't see the rims lip off, lip or like get ripped off. You just, you leave, just see, you see them, fall, them the fall to the ground, yeah. which is not nearly as cool. No. I saw K and B was credited. Mm-hmm. Um, probably they designed the mm-hmm. redesigned the monster. Uh, they they were the supervisors, I guess. Uh, Kurtzman, mm-hmm. Nicotero, and Berger. Uh, mm-hmm. Other guys did the actual makeup, but yeah, I was kind of like disappointed. There was one good kill. Somebody got their head pulled right off that their was, shoulders. Yes, that was the only good one. I loved though. that one. But all the rest of them were kind of like this off first camera, one, yeah. where there's a lot of blood splatter all over the place, yeah, but we don't actually yeah. see what's what's really going on. Uh, the second guy is the wait. Postman. We get a clue oh. though. Oh yeah, in the barn door, yes. there's uh, 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 Andrew Robinson immediately knows it's blood wings. Immediately, yeah. Like it's it just kind like- of like a. Like when you draw like a flying no, goose with just yeah, the lines. it's like the it's like in the Dark Knight Rises. Yes, they, they do the, like the chalk all over the city. Yes, it's yeah. like that, but blood. Yeah, mm-hmm. and we're like, what the yeah, yeah, because that was where I was like, oh, this is this is what the title is. This is the blood wing? Because yeah. you guys were like, what the fuck is it? It just looks like a V. Yeah, on yeah. The, you know, yes. bloody V. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's the it's the Dark Knight Rises. It's just little, yeah, it is chalk right. bat. <laughs> but this is gonna leave a clue for the sheriff. The sheriff. Uh, being new to town has to deal with the bureaucracy of the town. We're introduced mm-hmm. to the judge, who's just basically mm-hmm. an asshole, mm-hmm. good old boy. He's a rich, good old boy. Yeah, yeah. Who's telling him basically like, toe the line, sheriff? I mean, we do things strange. You know, mm-hmm. we have our ways here. And, yeah. You know, don't upset the apple cart and all that mm-hmm. other stuff. Uh, the at the, one point he literally says, "We can solve things with a little buckshot." <laughs> yeah, and his son. Is the bad boy a danger seeker? Yeah, uh, that the sheriff's the daughter is dating. Right. Yeah, and um, there's also the mayor who shows up. <laughs> the mayor. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Let's let's take a second I to talk about the mayor. I honestly was kind of disappointed that the mayor wasn't in this more. <laughs> no, I needed more. What uh, Mayor Bubba? Mayor right. Bubba. That was yeah. credited it that way too. Yeah, yeah well, that's um, a that's a joke to his brother. Yeah, I was like, is it Colin, do you want to say who who's playing? Uh- it's, it's yeah, it's Roger Clinton. Yes. Uh, who you know, I was like, oh, I remember Roger Clinton. So this is Bill Clinton's half brother. Right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. the one who was always in the press. Like the Secret Service apparently called him the headache, right? <laughs> yeah, because I think like at some point he accepted a watch from somebody from the Gambino crime family. He was busted for cocaine oh and like all this stuff. Like, he spent he- time in prison. Prison. He was always like a headache for, yeah, yeah. you know, President his, Bill Clinton. His entire life is basically like a family guy, a family guy subplot. He gotcha. Yeah. That's it. Everything about it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. he was an actor in a couple of uh, <laughs> movies. And so he's in he's, this as the mayor with a big mullet, a you know, crazy mullet, a guitar yeah. case. That mullet yeah, makes this there. movie feel 10 years older than it, it does. is. That mullet did not look like a 1994 mullet. And I you think know. it was real. I know. <laughs> it was. But it looks so much like a wig, but that was real. Yeah. But, so he, his half brother's in office and he's making pumpkin in too. Yep. 
What a, what a life. <laughs> what a, <laughs> well, I would read a tell all book if he wrote one. Yeah, I mean, I has he? Uh, he's got it, right? I'm sure. Because, oh, uh, yeah, Bubba was, was like a nickname for Bill Clinton at one yeah, point. Yeah. So, yeah, Mayor Bubba. Mayor Bubba. <laughs> I love it so much. He comes back later on, by the way. Yeah, I think he only oh, has like yeah. two scenes where he gets to yell yeah. at, uh, at the sheriff. And then surprise, end credit music. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Roger Clinton wrote and performed the theme song yes. to Blood Wings. Just like you. Theme song to Blood Wings. And um, if you were curious if this song was for this movie, yes, because I mean, the lyrics. I was like, you'll literally you, tell you what the movie's about. Yeah. Is it Revenge for Tommy? Or? Revenge for Tommy. Yeah. Is the, yeah. The, it's like the bridge. Revenge yeah. for Tommy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. We got to be able to find this on And Spotify just like you is want to be just like Pumpkinhead, I think. You I think wanted that's to fit in. I think yeah. You yeah. To be like the sheriff. Yeah. I think that's the story okay. because the sheriff, we get a little bit of backstory, right? It's, he's mm-hmm. trying to piece together these supernatural murders. Yeah. I think. Like, <laughs> one of yeah because the sheriff is working with the local doctor slash coroner mm-hmm. whose grandmother was a saucier what's yeah. a saucier now, a witch according- doctor yeah yeah and this is one of the worst actresses i have seen it's in recent oh God, memory. she's terrible i'm sorry everybody in mausoleum was better than this lady agreed like agreed bobby breezy looks like a fucking oscar winner <laughs> right compared yeah, come to come on lady. now i know I, there were some I'm, scenes where it's like is she reading cue cards she for sure Seriously. was in one scene because her our eyes kept darting to one yeah. side of the screen and then back yeah over and over and it's I was like, like watching an snl card. Yes, yeah yeah exactly for sure yeah. was she the one who came up with like uh like after the first they find like a scratch on the on the old yeah. burned house of the mm-hmm. the witch and they're like look at this crazy scratch and these mm-hmm. scratches are also so uh, at the murder scene of the, the Joe Unger, it's probably Pumpkinhead. And they're like, what? <laughs> oh, God. That scene at the dinner table was fan-fucking-tastic. <laughs> and she was like, well, there's there's a local legend. Um, well, it's well, it's Pumpkinhead. Yes. <laughs> and then the, the, people literally gasp. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I then, remember like, that from when I was... Because yeah. the sheriff, we said, he was like a native from there and yes. moved away to and New York and came that's back. That's the best is immediately they shift from that to like spotlight on the sheriff literally yes. like literally spotlight and he's like there was an old fairy tale no 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 he gets mad nurse no because she said someone said what is that a fairy tale and then he goes no it's a nursery yeah, rhyme it's a nursery and like rhyme. he's like offended that they would think it's a fairy <laughs> and then tale spotlight as he recites the nursery rhyme. yeah spotlight and dramatic camera that i was oh, pretty man. sure was going to go right up his fucking nose oh, right then, somebody was like hit the brake so oh my god yeah <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of dramatic camera work in this. <laughs> so like you can zoom, bro. <laughs> yeah. The sheriff is like trying to figure out like what's going on. So he's talking with the uh the coroner. Mm-hmm. Uh they've decided that Who yep, has pretty much moved in with him at this point. It yeah. seems <laughs> like it they share like uh, a hug at some point when uh, Yeah, he's like holding her and I was like they're weird. not together. Does yeah. the director know this? I know. I'm like uh, That was that wife. was far too intimate for <laughs> like, coworkers. Yeah. We've seen his wife. She looks like Amy Poehler. Like, right. Yeah. That they're not together. Okay, his wife might have the best line in the movie. Ooh, which one? Which one? <laughs> Deformed child runs wild in woods. <laughs> she's reading a headline in the newspaper. But I we don't, don't have any context for that when she says it because she's off screen when she says it. Oh uh, my god! Yeah, but even still, the headlines and the fucking fake newspaper articles about this feral deformed child are <laughs> incredible. Yeah. So he finds out that, well, he starts researching succubi and mm-hmm, the demonic mm-hmm. couplings and all this stuff, because as you do, you know, if you want to be oh, thorough. Oh, I love that part when he's like reading into his little recorder and he's yeah. like, when a woman has intercourse with a demon and then his wife walks in. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were at work. <laughs> <laughs> this movie's so unintentionally hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> God bless Andrew Robinson. Yeah. He just has like this intense, he's like trying. everything's very intense and he's re- he's doing these lines. They all are. That's why I'm like, yeah, you know, the corner comes off as a bad actress. Some of that is direction though. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. this is a director who's just like, you, you're an actor. You yeah. know how to you're yeah, doing. Just, Go ahead. just do your thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Without get, saying like, uh, yeah. all right, let's, let's. Do you know the lines? No, yeah. help her out. Let's yeah. get going. Okay, we got some poster board and a Sharpie. We'll get through this. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so he eventually puts together that uh, the the, the V symbol is a red wing. And then he's like, oh, the pumpkin head's actually going after the red wings, this gang from the 1950s. Mm-hmm. So this, because the, the movie 
doesn't know what the hell it's doing. It just introduces new characters. It gives us a chance for celebrity cameos. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And so the second victim, I believe, is the postman. Yes. Yeah. Um, who we catch uh, being ridden by uh, Linnea Quigley. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he that's R.A. Mihailhoff. So he played Leatherface in uh, Texas Chainsaw really? 3. Yeah, this is really like uh, the, the Avengers yeah, of yeah. like C tier like horror movie people. Yeah, yeah, it is. I know because I was waiting for Robert Englund to show up. I and know. He never did, but thank yeah. God Kane, Kane Hodder, Hodder does. Yes, <laughs> I know. As one of the Knox brothers, yeah, that was yeah. the most like what the hell scenes that felt like a Rob Zombie movie. It did. I was like, it this really movie, did. this movie's getting too close to hellbilly territory for me. Right, and, and I was into it. I was yeah. literally sitting there thinking, what is with horror movies and like hill people yeah like that is such a huge trope in horror movies i'll tell you what the, oh, i mean but yeah but it was the way it was painting all these people oh, they're all me. terrible it yeah was like, i was like this, this whole fucking town sucks this is a very sheltered writer who is pro- you know like saying like well what's new york like new york is just all it is is gangs and uh yeah. you know murders all over the place what's uh, appalachia like it's all inbred hillbillies who are yeah. fucking their sister yes and, and doing cockfighting yep. <laughs> yeah yeah you know, it's like it's it's just a yeah. very narrow. Sin- it's a cynical the, lo- yeah. uh, it opinion. And of for the, the record, school, yeah. we know that a lot of the South is quite charming. Yeah. <laughs> well, they don't understand a police lot. work. Not all. <laughs> they don't seem to understand. Like, I mean, the writer of this movie understood none of anything. Like, didn't really do his research into anything, no. the occult or anything. Yeah. Subtlety is not his. Yeah, this suit. is how police like uh, come to their stuff. They just have their, you know, they take their photos of the the corpses and they discuss it over the dinner table yeah. with their wife. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Good God. Um, so the th- well, that yeah. was the third. It was the Knox brothers. I think right, there was the three brothers. of them. Yeah. There's yeah. There's two Knox brothers. Um, there, there was a third there's... guy showed up and was killed in that scene. I I yeah. Know. There was just two brothers though. Three it, people. I don't know. I know. The two of them had the shirt. Because, the, like they said, if you just have to get in Pumpkin Head's way. Right. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Two of them were labeled as Knox but Brothers. Yeah, the, <laughs> two of them were the Knox why Brothers. They had shirts on. Yeah. Said, no. But why doesn't he kill the women in these scenes? Is it because his beef is... But like this... See, this is the movie... Tw- twist his own I, logic. I, yeah, I think I f- I feel like it doesn't kill the deaf and mute. It's sister. like it's, it's like he's supposed to know that part of his like revenge plot is benefiting them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like it makes yeah. no sense because he doesn't kill Linnea gonna... Quigley either. Right? It's like, well, she's fine. Yeah. It's, so <laughs> is why she does fine? he? You know. Well, no, that's a, that's the thing. Like mm-hmm. he doesn't kill them, but he leaves them like crazy. Apparently, they're like comatose. Yeah, sort of. It's weird, it and is, it comes strange. back. It's explained never? to us that she is uh, as close to scared to death as you're gonna get. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I did like the because um, when we see when we meet the Knox brothers, they're like holding a cockfight. Mm-hmm. And I like that one of them gets killed by his roosters pecking his eyes out. Yeah, yeah. that was pretty yeah. great. That was pretty great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what happened to Kane Hodder? Um, he. Oh, I what? don't. I think Pumpkinhead shows up and goes slash. Just like slaps him really hard. There's a lot of like. Yeah, back well, he like. And... I, I remember like there's a scene where like he like stabs him in his gut. I thought that was the other guy. Well, I don't. I know. can't remember. It's yeah. not important. Remember. Yeah. Um, it's not cool enough to remember, so. No. And so at this point, we've got uh, Andrew Robinson has figured out right. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, because he has he has a personal connection to uh, Tommy. The, right. uh, the 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 pumpkin head of the movie, right? Yes. What's yeah. uh, what what happened in 1950s? Mm-hmm. He used something. <laughs> he used to uh, when he was Radley him. when he was yeah. seven slash fourteen. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. No way. I don't care if it was the 50s. Kids still looked like kids then. Um, he left his toy fire truck on the well. Uh, I'm sorry, not the well. See, it looks like a fucking well yeah. on the mine shaft for Feral Tommy. Yeah, because he was just playing at the mine shaft. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I left my fire truck out there, and so one day I went to go retrieve it, yeah. and there mm-hmm. was Feral Tommy, and he was playing with my fire <laughs> and truck. And I realized he's just a kid, just like me. Yep, yeah, because Feral Tommy like almost chucks himself down the yeah. mine shaft, yeah. And, yeah. and so uh, uh, and because like he's just like me, because you're the same age, you're both twenty years old. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I yeah. think this is the Roger Clinton song at the end. It's it's Tommy's perspective saying he wants to be just like that kid. 
right? Who but no, no. To be feral? no, but that song no, says no, he revenge wants to be for the other one. He wa- no, the the feral kid oh, the fer- wants to be. Tommy wants, but to be the song like, says revenge for Tommy. Yeah, so the song is from the perspective of somebody else. Oh, we got. I right. can't find lyrics to this online, so we're just gonna we have to listen have to, to it because <laughs> it's. I think it's. It, is it Pumpkinhead's revenge? Is it a pumpkin? Uh, like no, it's his perspective. The song is, is just like you. That's why I don't know. That's what we're t- I don't know. Maybe it's like, he's like it Tommy, is. but he wants to be just like the the kid who helped him out with the fire truck. Like I, I could, my whole life would have been doing whatever. But yeah. the song says something about doing revenge for Tommy. Oh, maybe it's the third person. Yeah. To, yeah, I'm Tommy, <laughs> and Tommy's gonna get revenge. Okay. Roger Clinton does have a book. Uh, <laughs> I knew it. Growing up, Clinton, the lives, times, and tragedies of America's presidential family. I knew Clinton. it. Yep. So guess what I'm going to be reading Hopefully soon. Hopefully he has a chapter about his experiences on the set of Pumpkinhead Pumpkin where he was all coked out of his mind. Can't right. remember a damn thing about right. it. You know what? We should have reached out to him. I bet he <laughs> yeah. would talk to us on this He's show. probably on Cameo. There you go. Probably. Oh, shit. Or no, in no, prison. No, no. Oh, no he's... <laughs> but anyway, uh, you so... You probably still do cameos from prison, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> So Andrew Robinson's figured this out, right? The judge is, uh, he's the next victim. And so they, he heads over there to thwart uh, Pumpkinhead, taking out the judge, but he's too late. Pumpkinhead indeed kills the judge. Mm-hmm. Um, Outside of Motel Hell. Right. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but the judge has also ordered a posse. To come together. Yeah. And well, the, yeah. Pumpkinhead's focus then shifts to the kids who brought him back. And Andrew Robinson's like, oh, no, my daughter was part of that, you know, out there. Yes. They've been the whole movie. There's a whole thing about like, you know, don't tell your dad. And then the thing that happened in New York, that like somebody stole a teacher's car. And she didn't get arrested. And so they right. all turn on each other. And then mm-hmm. like the main guy's pulling guns on the rest of them. Like that came going out of nowhere. Cops. I know that made. <laughs> No sense. I mean, I guess like the first, it didn't in the first Pumpkinhead movie, the one kid was like, nobody's talking to the cops and he yep. breaks the phone, right? Yeah. So like, I guess maybe they're just they're borrowing shit from scene. the first movie. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you remember this from but, Pumpkinhead, so. But it's it it's an unmotivated character thing. Right. I was unsure if uh, Amy Dolan's was like liking this guy or not liking him because her dialogue, there because they basically like start hooking up. But, she has a dream Inspired, of course, probably by the Nightmare on Elm Street movies where mm-hmm. we pull back out of her bed and she's in the middle of the woods. Right. And he, uh, this lead guy, uh, comes into her bed and then she wakes up. But mm-hmm. she's still in the woods and then Pumpkinhead is there and like, oh my God. Yep. And it's, okay, whatever. I don't mm-hmm. even know what that had to do with anything. There was also the uh, the Chekhov's gun thing that I was waiting for. There's so much effort and dialogue put toward like, with all these guys running around with their guns, you know, the posse. Right. Somebody's going to get shot who shouldn't be shot, right? You're going to yeah. shoot somebody. That nope. never pays off. Nope. No, no, and so we have the sheriff running out into the woods in order to save his daughter while the the five kids now are being picked off. Any yes. good kill scenes there? Um, I, The idea of Soleil Moon Fry's kill is cool, like her getting impaled, but they yeah. didn't show it in a way that was cool. Yeah, because then they like impale her and then her boyfriend's impaled, so they're like shish yeah. kebab together, yeah. which is cool in theory, but... but- it- yeah. They don't show it yeah. in a way the, that it isn't. The best one was Danny's. Yes, absolutely. 100%. That yeah. was fantastic. Mm-hmm. That's the one the pumpkin head wrenches Just his head off. Rips of his body. it right off. That's rips the only off. like real notable effect in yeah. the entire movie. Mm-hmm. And so that leaves. And we hate that character, so it's great. Yep. We hate everyone in this yeah. movie. Yeah. That this movie works really hard to make Pumpkinhead the hero. Everyone yeah. fucking sucks and literally movie. everyone in this town sucks. Yeah. And I was like, We're are we rooting for Pumpkinhead? Because I am. Because he's I a mean, victim. We, so yeah. we do by the end yes. of the movie. Oh, wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. There is one other scene before we get to the climax that we need to address because at some point the uh sheriff and the coroner have to go to consult with uh the old witch who's still in the hospital. Mm-hmm. And uh, they walk into the room. Oh, that's right. And she comes back to life to oh, first, expo first, dump. Like, when they get there, she's dead. Yeah. She flatlines. Yes. Like, the moment they walk yeah. in, yeah. the nurse is like, I lost her. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, damn it. But no, you, Just when we were... No, dead. but you said it with more feeling. Yes. She <laughs> said, I lost her. <laughs> and like, oh, because she was going to tell us something that would probably break this case wide open. Too bad she's dead. Don't worry. Then all of a sudden... She comes right back. There's a big bolt of glowing lightning or something, and she sits bolt upright in the bed and starts you know talking in Expo that dumps. echoey yeah. 
It's like, I was, you know, Tommy's mother was a no one, but his father was pumpkin head and blah, blah, blah. And they're like, oh, that's terrible. I can't believe that you're alive. How can we stop him? I mean, yeah. it was just like some of the goofiest it's shit. So in retrospect, like, this is awful. Tell us more. Yeah. Yeah. And in <laughs> retrospect, you just go like, why didn't you just have her be alive when they got there? Right? right? <laughs> why do this? And then die. <laughs> it makes no yeah. sense. Like, what the hell? It makes no sense. <laughs> and she has a little talisman around her neck, which is uh, kind of similar to, I think we see that necklace in the original pumpkin head. Yeah. Uh, a little, it looks like a stick figure yep. or whatever. Of, yeah, because it was it Lance Hendrickson, like at the end of it, like turned into a little remember. tiny thing. In the, oh, I can't remember. But anyway, uh, or it was his son had made him that, I think. So uh, anyway. Uh, the old uh, witch gives that to mm-hmm. our... Uh, yeah, this will help you. Okay. She doesn't say how. And I don't know how. how what did it do? So he he runs was, out into the woods. It was basically like proof. <laughs> it was basically just like, here, I talked to your sword of mom. <laughs> yeah, you can trust don't me. Don't kill us. Yeah. You can trust me. Your mom gave me this. Like, and just he, proof. He plays like father-daughter love card here and like tries to reason with a revenge demon Yeah, by saying... But like she wasn't, she yeah she was there, but she didn't do it. Yeah. Like and in my and, and in my yeah. mind, this whole movie is just about rich parents bailing their kids out. Yeah, <laughs> she's not held accountable whole goddamn for movie. anything. Yeah. yeah, this is the second time you know you've what? had. She didn't this. choose to walk away until the grave had been completely dug and she saw the body. Then right. she said it was too much. Yeah. Like, and then I'm sorry. She, and then when she ran back and saw that the, the cabin was starting to catch on fire, yeah. instead of going in and seeing if she could get her out, she runs back, waits for it to catch full fire, yeah. and then goes back. This is, you don't, you know, She's like, shit. If yeah. you're in the car when someone else commits a crime, you're guilty. Like, it's, it, you're not guilty to the same degree, but like, you're responsible in some way, you know? Like, yeah. And this, yeah, this is the second time. Yeah, you have time. to go to the authorities. Yeah. Otherwise, you're, yeah, yeah. accessory. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And it's, she doesn't. She keeps it all secret. So, yeah, in theory, she is as culpable as the rest of them that, yeah. like, met horrible, violent Especially deaths by for, revenge demon standards. Yeah. Like, do you think mm-hmm. he's really gonna, you know, mm-hmm. split hairs like this? No. But this no. is the weirdest fucking sequence because, like you mm-hmm. said, Pumpkinhead suddenly becomes, he's the victimized one. And he's yeah. the hero, there. and Andrew Robinson's pleading with him. It's like, don't you remember, Tommy? I gave you my fire truck. Yeah, I saved you once, Tommy. Remember? Yeah. This and, is my daughter. <laughs> and what I love about this is, it's literally just like a big rubber suit standing there, just like listening and being like, "Yep, you're yeah, right. yeah, yeah, you're it's, right. Oh you did God, save me." So stupid. Yep. And I have this talisman that your with sword of mine like, gave penis me. Shoulders. Yeah. It's got like. That's where I thought the wings were going to sprout out. I those know. knobs on his yeah. shoulders. <laughs> Looks like but he no. had gargoyle wings yeah. coming out of there, you know? So you can modify the monster, yeah. but mm-hmm. no. Uh, and Let so, me make a pumpkin head mm-hmm. sequel. I got idea. We got ideas. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there were a couple more pumpkin head sequels. Yeah. And, mm, mm, yeah. And Lance, <laughs> Lance Hendrickson comes back for the fourth one, I think. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I mean, wow. we saw him in that terrible Hellraiser movie, so yeah. anything's possible. Yeah, he took you anything, know? so. Yeah. Was it Hellraiser? Or no, sorry. Pumpkin head, uh, Ashes, Ashes to Ashes. Ashes is the third one. That one went straight to TV. I think yeah. the what? Sci-Fi yeah. Channel <laughs> made the last two, Ashes to so, Ashes yeah. and... Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Blood, blood omen, blood something, blood, uh, blood, blood deal, blood, blood, blood vengeance. Blood ven- I think blood vengeance might be it. No, I oh, might be making that. But uh, I mean, blood vengeance, blood feud, blood feud, blood right. feud. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. and that came out in two thousand seven. And do yeah. they still do they stick with the like Appalachian thing? So I like, haven't seen any. Is of it these. very like Hatfields and McCoy kind of feud? Maybe we get pumpkin head in. The I city. hope so. <laughs> oh my no no Hatfields and McCoy would be like his his Alien versus Predator movie, right? Oh, so we got yeah. we got to set up a nemesis for for <laughs> yeah. pumpkin head, and then we can do a. Pumpkin heads versus Well, I mean, whatever, now that you know. we know how it happens, yeah. we know that it can happen again. Exactly. So we can get a pumpkin head versus well, something. Yeah. Vengeance, the demon. Maybe you. Yeah. Have, Is there uh, other demons? Yeah. 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 The love demon. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, vengeance. Demon. So it would be like all of the like the, the sin. seven deadly sins. Yeah, Sloth. Be, yeah. It was like <laughs> gluttony. A demon. Pride, Pride demon. Yeah. Pride yeah. demon. Yeah. yeah. I like this. See, yeah. this may, well, maybe we'll have to explore. Maybe yeah. this has been oh done. I haven't seen these, so I this mean, is... maybe who knows? Mm-hmm. Uh, but there Where's is Sean. Copyright. Yeah, yeah. Shit. copyright is... this shit. <laughs> there is more to this movie uh, because now mm. that uh, Amy Dolan's has been spared and Andrew Robinson has been spared, and we're like, oh, the public kids just gonna go home with them and mm-hmm. be like a pet or something mm-hmm. like that that mm-hmm. they take care of. And they're no, no. Ah. You remember the posse that we told you about? I do remember Colin. 
They show back up and blast Thank the God. fuck out of him. And he ends up hanged over the well, just like Tommy did. And dies exactly the same way. And we keep cutting between like, remember when Tommy was killed in this exact same way? He's being killed in it again. I'm not going to lie. I was not <laughs> expecting there to be so much politics in I this know. movie. <laughs> yeah, it's... Imagine getting your spirit revived for vengeance and then getting hate crimed again. Yeah. <laughs> in the same way you did. By like an NRA mob. Yeah, basically. exactly. Yeah. This, this Can movie- you imagine if... If, like, the president's brother did this now. I know, right? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, it's a strange one. I don't God. know, like, yeah, because at the end of it, I'm like, who's the writer on this? Like, clearly, they are somehow misaligned on, like, what the, the pumpkin head's a demon that we're like, oh, right. no, it's actually a poor little. <laughs> we're rooting for, we're <laughs> actually rooting for the demon and the, the, the bad guy, or the the enemy, is the good old boys. I right? know, especially the way they it's leave. It's so it, political. He <laughs> is like, I mean, he gets like lynched. Ba- pumpkin yes! gets lynched at the end of the movie, and we're like, okay, is it them good shooting because it's this a rubber suit's pretty hilarious though. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's, it's swinging around funny. on this hook all limp. Yeah. Like there's like they clearly hung up an empty suit on a hook, and people are shooting at it. Yeah. It's but there is stuff like busting out of yeah. it, which is kind of great. There's it like just looks chunks. a little saggy. Like, yeah. yeah, there's like red chunks coming out of it. It's gross. But thank God we've killed the demon menace and uh, mm. all is back to order yeah. i'm sorry danny <laughs> <laughs> and daughter yeah. w- and this dad this is gonna be a cute memory for yeah. them yep. i'm sorry their relationship oh has there's been repaired. my fire truck yeah. yay everything's happy i didn't just see my boyfriend's head get ripped off in front of me I, boyfriend they knew each other for like two days <laughs> <laughs> true uh, but i mean in high school that's an eternity okay but if so. i see anyone's head get ripped off in front of me yeah that's true that's yeah. traumatic yeah, yeah yeah you're gonna be wandering around yeah. like especially if i was just making out with them that's yeah. traumatic yeah yeah quigley yeah. yep Whew. man yeah yep yeah. 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 all right well that's uh Woo! pumpkin head two blood wings <laughs> that was a lot to unpack but we're going to tell you whether or not you should watch this movie. But first of all, we're going to read some of your mail. And in order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman. His name is Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. He's absolutely a revenge demon. Yeah. 100%. I wonder if he has wings. I mean, he do better you think, have wings. Or do you it. think he like X Men last standed and sawed him off himself or something? You know? <laughs> he might have. I mean, he replaces his own body parts yeah. frequently, yeah. so he could have some. He gets sick of them, he just files them off. Puts mm-hmm. on their yeah. wings, kind of yeah. like Jeepers Creepers. Yep. Yeah. Or something. No. He just, he takes, he's a hoarder. He takes yeah. what he can get. So, you know. Oh, shit. I forgot to. Uh, MF Mad, the keeper of the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame, yeah. uh, let us know that uh, in, a, in addition to Lillian Chauvin, uh, yeah. Joe Unger has oh, also nice. made Aww. it to the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame because he was an uncredited auto assembly worker in Christine. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> Probably in that opening scene, huh? Where she first yeah. gets born and she's bad. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And uh, he was also a character who I do not recall named Carpus in Roadhouse. No, really? which we oh, did on the, what it seems like keeping with the same. Yeah. It's within his wheelhouse, right? Sure. Like he's a an actor of a certain type. Pluto you TV. Guys, you guys did Roadhouse? Roadhouse. I'm oh. sad I wasn't there. Yeah, for that. I love oh, yeah. that movie. I know. It, like, <laughs> if I had a dollar for every si- <laughs> Sunday afternoon, I watched Roadhouse on cable. You <laughs> oh, know? my God. Like, because your channel flipping, it's like, that's an ass magnet when you see that. You're like, well, this is what I'm doing now, mm-hmm. you know? But Pluto TV's been doing a like, 24 hour marathon of Roadhouse on one of our channels lately. <laughs> like, it's pretty great. Yeah. It was like, it like blended mine and my brother's like taste in movies. Yeah. Because yeah. I was like the little girl that loved Dirty Dancing. Yep. But then I watched all of my brother's movies too. Yep. Obviously, mm-hmm. we've learned on this show. Yeah. But like Roadhouse is blended yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. This is interesting because yeah. I think we were talking about that on that. We were talking, yeah. we, had, yeah. we talked about like Swayze had two different audiences. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he did. But, <laughs> but like, Roadhouse was the blend. That was where yeah. they met. I know we've talked about it like in our group chat, but I don't think we talked about it in here how like Swayze is like a care, like an actor niche that doesn't exist anymore, right? Because yeah. like he appealed to men and women equally, I mm-hmm. would say. And I feel like that type of like, actor doesn't exist anymore. Well, I have one of those like Blu-rays that's like three movies, mm-hmm. you know, and yeah. it's it's Roadhouse, Ghost, and um, Red Dawn. Yeah, see, oh, okay. that's like yeah. he's hitting every <laughs> hitting every and, quadrant, and you I'm know? like that would yeah. that's just the most random <laughs> yeah. trio of movies, but it makes sense because it's all <laughs> Patrick it's all Swayze. Swayze. Yeah. God bless him. Uh, yeah, we did that, <laughs> and we did Point Break. I think, yeah. Of the, 
and ghosts. Yeah, so, we did ghosts. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Well, we should let the good folks at home know how they can what participate. Was that, what was that movie that we did with Patrick Swayze? It was like the Conan Patrick Swayze. Oh, oh uh, Steel Dawn. Dawn. Steel Dawn. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> that was wow. yeah. That was a disappointment. Yeah, we wanted uh, that to be. We better. tried anyway. Sorry. Um, but anyway, they can follow along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Freak Show or X at Set Freak Show. Uh, by email. Saturday at Freak Show Yahoo.com. Or on uh, Instagram or threads at Sat Freak Show. At Saturday Night Freak Saturday Show. Saturday Night Freak Show. Yep. You know, I noticed uh, threads doesn't have like a way we can actually pull it up on the computer. So if you're writing. How stupid. Uh, you know, your, your <laughs> messages to us on threads, uh, um, we see them. <laughs> 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 okay, so uh, <laughs> about tonight's <laughs> Colin's about, uh, delivery of that just took us out. I didn't know where you were going with that. Well, I can't copy and paste the like I'm like I'm not typing out this paragraph. <laughs> you can't copy and paste no, on you, threads. There's no uh you can't do no this version fucking... of it. It's phone only. Yeah, what is this bubblegum and duct tape website, though? Uh, Holy shit. Yeah, can we just drop threads? For yeah, let's Everybody do else it. has dropped it, yeah, right? Yeah, let's I mean, do uh, it. I, oh Colin and I have literally never used threads a day in my life, so go ahead, drop it for all I care. Oh all right. Uh, anyway. Colin, that was better delivery than anything we saw. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, about tonight's movie, uh, Pumpkinhead 2. Mark Zidane writes in and says, I actually saw this one before the original <laughs> back when I was 10. I believe it was either on Showtime or USA, but I honestly don't remember much of it because I haven't watched it since or the following sequels. I just remember the creature being resurrected from a special needs kid that was murdered, and I remember that my friend's older brother had a CD-ROM companion game to this movie. That's right. There was a game that came out, what? and I might try and see if I can find find it because it looks terrible but it's like a first person <laughs> shooter game and there's like scenes from the movie Is that inserted vision? in it no uh, you're one of the kids you're not even pumpkin ew. head yeah and uh you're just like collecting they clues and shit it doesn't look very good but i'm fascinated that they thought the second one was the time to this is when we're capitalizing on the the. But this the was direct to DVD, so like, yeah. who the fuck? Where was the press for the mm-hmm. video game going to be? You know, yeah. unless it was like one of those video games that came like in cereal boxes or whatever. I had a couple of those. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Travis Legler says this movie is kind of like Tremors Two, Guyver Two, RoboCop Three, and the Return of Swamp Thing and the Return of the Killer Tomatoes. It's a sequel with few of the original creative team, but it's also enjoyable in its own way. However. Unlike the fun cult movies I listed above, this one did get its own video game, Blood Wings, Pumpkin Heads Revenge. Mm. I think we can all agree that there are many movies that should get fun game sequels like Ghostbusters, the video game. And he says this movie has to be a Sean pick. He says it's mm. a good choice. You would think you it would, would be think. a Sean. The king of sequels would be here. But, but it's not. Yeah, It's not. Yeah. Yeah. Michael Whitaker says, I'm pretty sure I saw this one before Pumpkinhead, but only because it was randomly on TV once. And I sat through like 20 minutes of it before finding out it was a sequel. I would definitely say this movie completely misunderstands its own mythology. Mm-hmm. And as I recall from the tape cover, part of the selling point was that it had people like Kane Otter, as well as other <laughs> slasher movie veterans in it. Good luck. They only kind of get worse. It's a picture from of the here. video game. Oh, that's the video game yeah. uh, <laughs> cover art. Yes. Yeah. I don't even remember that, to yeah. be honest let's, with you. Let's see if there's any pictures of the actual like gameplay. Oh, I can't wait to Michael see because it was like DOS or yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Whitaker, you made very good points. Yes. <laughs> very good points. <laughs> Uh, last week we watched a movie called called Mausoleum, and Again. Andrew Volstorf writes in and says, "FYI, this movie this is oh, we're looking at this it, game. Oh, looks it, it looks like Doom. Yeah, it looks exactly like Doom with like slight changes. <laughs> it's probably a clone of Doom. With just okay, slim, I bet. Yeah. yeah. Well, Andrew says, FYI, this movie Mausoleum is streaming on Tubi. During the show, you guys mentioned it wasn't anywhere streaming, and it's the vid- vinegar syndrome transfer." Hell yeah. So there you go. But Holly brought in the vinegar yeah, syndrome. Yeah, I sure did. Uh, Dave Forbes says, is not this the one with the killer boobs? It might be time for a rewatch. It, <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it sure is. Tits. I, I, I realized that I may have like spoke too soon when I told my pottery class that about that movie and yeah. said there was demon tits. Yeah, because <laughs> normal people you can't just say right? stuff like I that too. I found yeah. myself just like blurting it out yeah. like word vomit and then I looked around to like gauge the room. I was like, yeah. did I just make a mistake? Yeah. <laughs> did you? 
my pottery instructor was laughing. Oh, yeah, okay. I think he's okay with it. <laughs> well, apparently that is what Mausoleum is known for, because Joey Bly says, Zomboobs? Well, they're demons still, but this started out slow and ramped up for the last half. It feels very 1983 with non-Loomis and the never-ending staircase <laughs> and that green that only existed at the time. Non-Loomis and the never-ending staircase. <laughs> I'd read that book. That's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, the week before that, we watched a movie called Hack O' Lantern, and Casey okay. Shearer said, I love Hack O' Lantern, and then tagged Gregory Scott Cummings, the star of Hack O' Lantern, who liked our post. Oh, so there you go. yay! <laughs> we love you! We love you! Fan club! <laughs> <clears throat> that was the episode dedicated yeah. to the, the actor yeah. Gregory Scott Cummings. Yeah, I um, followed him while we were recording. <laughs> <laughs> and he only had like 700 followers, so that he noticed. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was on the same post that we identified. We didn't identify in uh, uh, while we were watching Hack O' Lantern that the first girl with the blonde bleached uh, uh, hair who was naked all the time. Yes. Yeah. She was a porn star. That was uh, Jeannie, Gina Fine. And Aaron Don Gilmer wrote in and said, oh, my God, that was her. Mm. from that movie huh. so apparently yeah. Yeah, she took the porn world by storm or thought she did because she had peroxide hair didn't work out she was in a relationship with another porn actress who was the subject of an e-true hollywood story because huh. she okay. died oh, of no. heroin or overdose Yikes. or something i don't know you gotta oh, go uh, check genie so Jean. so not janine J- i genie am i having a problem pronouncing i don't know what are you saying that- i don't know what name you're trying to say <laughs> Gina? Is it? G E A N N A? J E A Gina? Yeah, like jeans. Gina? Gina? Okay, Gina? Gina fine. Yeah. It's just I a different way of spelling Gina. Gina, yeah. Okay. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Well, you learn something oh, every day, right. maybe three episodes well, later. She, but it was her roommate or her girlfriend that died, not her, right? She's right. still alive. Yeah. It was uh, her one of her lovers okay. died, mm-hmm. I think, but they were both <sighs> involved with Gotcha. Goodness. I hope she's so. doing okay now. <clears throat> Godspeed. I think Gina she's fine. still alive. So there you go. Well, thank you all, yeah. each of you, for writing yes. in. We love yes. your we love your insight into the movies that we watch. Mm-hmm. I do. I, I love it. Yeah. I think it's great. Well, we're gonna find out what insight we have into tonight's movie, Pumpkinhead Two: Blood Wings, starting with Colin. Oh shit! <laughs> what did you think of Pumpkinhead Two: Blood Wing? Um, is there revenge in there somewhere? No, no, just blood wing. No, okay. just blood Pumpkinhead's wings. revenge was the video game. There we go. Sequel, I instantly forgot. Companion piece. Um, mm. I went into it uh, going like, okay, you know, I mean, have you I, seen I, this before? No, I hadn't. I, okay. I skipped it because uh, Pumpkinhead, I guess, seemed like a self-contained thing. Right. <laughs> and then multiple years later, you get a direct-to-video sequel. I'm like, uh, this ain't I gonna be no any good. idea the havoc that was about to be unleashed. Yeah. And then I think maybe, you know, you hear reviews and it's not very good. And then there's more of them and you're mm-hmm. like, yeah, this is not even worth going. I'm not really a sequel. Like, I didn't really do the critter. Like, I saw Critters and never no, did the rest of them. None of us have that sickness showing yeah. us. I that, saw that, Tremors. That I never saw the yeah. other Tremors. Yeah. I had not seen Phantasm 2 until the show made me, you yeah. know? So yeah. we are not sequel people in the same way Sean is. Mm-hmm. So so um, I avoided it. So tonight I was going into it going like, well, all right, let's see what it's all about. And then you see the credits and you're like, oh, like there's a lot of good people in this or at mm-hmm. least recognizable folks. And like, oh, this is kind of curious. Mm-hmm. And um, this movie is bad. like it broke my brain bad. <laughs> yes. um, I thought it was uh, because you go like, OK, well, the writing was terrible, terrible mm-hmm. on like the mm-hmm. level of like a school kid wrote this movie with no understanding Mm -hmm. of the world of Mm -hmm. plot mechanics we were telling you like how they could have simplified the story in order Mm -hmm. to make something maybe more compelling and it just like defies you right uh defies logic the direction i thought was poor uh i thought all the acting was poor but Mm -hmm. you know it's because they're on a rudderless ship it felt like um, I thought Pumpkinhead was poor. Mm-hmm. It's just, I don't know. The dialogue hurt my brain and it uh, was hilariously bad in some places mm-hmm. where you're just like, what? Huh? What? I hated it. Uh, <laughs> I did not like uh, mm-hmm. Pumpkinhead 2 Blood Wings. Holly, what do you think? So you don't recommend it? No, that's a no. Okay. No, no. Okay. I'm just, no, no, just you checking. You can avoid that one, I assume. I'm just I checking. I could be wrong. Because I'm we assuming. often hate things, but still recommend yeah, them. Yeah, no, no. I didn't like this one. Wouldn't You don't have okay. to see it. There's nothing okay. worth seeing. And I assume the other two, you can probably skip those. Two. <laughs> you should hold mm-hmm. reservation judgment. I mean, um, yeah, I, I agree with 
everything that you said. It's it is a clusterfuck of a movie. Uh, it doesn't. This movie doesn't know what it's it, what it is by any means. The director doesn't know what it is. I don't think the cast knows what it is because they're all making a different movie. The writer wrote a different movie than what was made. Like it, it's it's just a cluster. Everyone's just doing their own thing. Um, I agree that it's so ridiculous. Sometimes it's really funny. Um, and in in that, I'm going to say I would not watch this alone because watching it yeah. by myself, I would not have had fun with it. You're I don't think I like would. A bad movie night party movie. It yes. Is. Yeah. A hundred percent. A midnight showing A hundred percent. Yeah. Watching it alone, I would not have had fun with this, but watching it with you guys, I had fun with it. So I'm going to say that I would recommend it to watch it with a group of people that you can laugh together with. Mm -hmm. So it's a recommend with a caveat. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to say. Michaela, what'd you think? I mean, the scariest thing that happened to us watching oh, this God, movie yes. is <laughs> the, we're watching the credits because we're obsessed with this Just Like You song, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it, streaming services being the way they are, we get like... Like, one one scroll into the credits and all like of a sudden up next Halloween ends and like there was a, a <laughs> countdown timer already I, kicking started I legitimately screamed all three of us jumped and screamed because like, no! like, it was it, and like it was not enough timer on that for us to scramble for a remote mm -hmm. like it was Colin I'm glad you were on top of it because yeah. it was gonna start Halloween ends whether we were ready or not yeah and that was just unforgivable but mm -hmm. I mean this movie it made me unintentionally laugh a lot um but it's I don't like the weird moralistic take this movie no. has. And it's weird because the first one is kind of heavy. Like Lance Hendrickson's kid gets straight up murdered. It's bleak, you know, and I feel like you really empathize with him because he's just this yokel trying to get by and these city kids come and take the one thing he loves, you know, but that movie, like, I don't know, dealt with it in a way that wasn't so like well, superior i guess the whole thing was that basically revenge is a bad thing yeah yeah <laughs> yeah exactly yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it'll consume you yeah, right yeah. like the, the, that you know there's that saying that like holding a grudge yeah. is like drinking poison and expecting is, the other person to die that that's a, what that movie did yeah, this you is know? a fuck you movie from every angle <laughs> yeah yeah exactly and this like i don't like making pumpkin had a sympathetic like oh my god you can't argue with like feral deformed child like nothing you do is gonna be mm -mm. excusable in that situation mm -mm. and it's just so extreme of a mm -hmm. way to go that it's ugh, i i feel like it's so easy to make a good pumpkin head sequel because the recipe is so simple and classic it's somebody wants revenge and then the revenge consumes them and that's it. The end of the story. Mm -hmm. And this movie just went out of its way to complicate everything in ways it didn't need to. And it didn't have the talent to support these complicated mm -hmm. ideas. So I'm going to pass on it because I don't think it's good. I agree with what Holly's saying. Like a midnight movie showing yeah. would be fun. But the first pumpkin had so fucking That's good. why I'm like, I don't even feel like I'm recommending it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Yeah. I can't see myself watching this again unless it's like a drive-in situation uh -huh. where it's between two other movies I also it's like. It's really you know? hard for me to recommend a movie that begins and ends with a lynching. Yeah, exactly. And that's so unnecessary. <laughs> like, it, like, did they feel like they had to one-up a child murder and so they went with child lynching? Like, yeah. I guess. Because the first like, one, it was like, you know, I mean, it was, it was, it was an, accident. an accident. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah, and they then were they just being reckless. Culpability yeah. For it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I can't recommend this one. It's just it's bleak and bad, and I mean, unintentionally funny in a lot of moments, but mm -hmm. still not worth it for that. Mm -hmm. So pass. N and no blood wings, no wings, <laughs> <laughs> no fucking wings in this movie. I was I was hoping he would blast off and fuck people up flying yeah. around, you know, the flying like, pumpkin. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But no. All right. Well, that's uh, Pumpkinhead 2. Uh, next week, we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by... Colin, what are we watching? It's November now. Are we being... Th are we are we thankful yet? Are we watching something that we're thankful for? Are we watching something Oscar baity? Yeah. <laughs> it's still uh, autumn, and so... It is. Okay. Yeah, there's yeah, still yeah. a lot of dead cornfields out there. There are. I think we should yeah. go back and watch the first... Killer Scarecrow movie, and it's called Dark Knight of the Scarecrow. I've heard okay. of this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in. Right. About TV, yeah. made for TV horror movies. Awesome. Also on that one. I so, like an autumn horror movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's also kind of a Halloween movie. All right. Awesome. So next week, it's Dark Knight of the Scarecrow. We hope you'll join us. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark. <laughs>